Welcome to this new video about Bjor, Build Your Own Robot. I am Teun, we are at the Bjor headquarters and today we are going to talk about programming. Last time we built this robot, if you remember this one works with sensors and actuators. So on this side I have a, a knob and that turns his head and on this side I have a distance sensor which will make the motor turn back and forth. Today we're going to make this robot think all by itself. So it doesn't going to respond to the sensor anymore, it's going to respond to program. We're going to program using the microbit, which is a small chip that actually attaches right to the viewer brain. All right, let's start doing some programming. We're going to need a laptop. We're going to need the microbit, of course. A USB cable to connect the microbit to the laptop. We're going to use the Bjor brain. We're going to need to power the brain using the power bank. We're going to need a green part and a blue part to test some stuff. And of course, we're going to need some signal cables. All right, the first thing we're going to do is to make a super simple code for the micro bit. To do this, we're going to open a web browser and we're going to go to makecode.microbit.org. We're going to click new project and this is where the magic happens. The right part of the screen is called the stage. In the stage, we'll find two blocks already there. The blocks represent functions for your code. The first block, which says on start, will just execute once when the microbit is starting up. The forever block will execute all the time, it will loop. To get stuff to actually happen, we need to put functions into these blocks. For example, I can say to the microbit that on start, it needs to show a number. So I'm going to just go to basic, I'm going to get this function, show number, and I'm going to just click and drag it into on start. Now, as you can see on the left side of your screen, it already shows how the microbit is going to respond to that. So this is a digital representation of your physical microbit, and it will show what's going to happen on your microbit. So if I put a little one in here, press enter, the microbit on the screen will already show this. Well, this is just the microbit, so it doesn't show what will happen to the Bjor parts. We're just going to make a super simple code to show you that microbit is capable of getting data from the Bjor sensors. We're going to have the microbit light up according to the data it receives from an input part of the Bjor kit. To do this, we're going to click LED and we're going to get the plot bar graph function, the plot bar graph block. We're just going to click and drag that into the forever function. So right now it doesn't really do anything because it's plotting a bar graph of zero up to zero. The signal from the input parts are going to vary from zero to 1024. So the bar should be up to 1024. And well, now you're asking how are we going to get this input? To get input from the ports of the microbit, we're going to need to know which port of the microbit is connected to which port on the Bjor EasyBoard. To see this, you can look on the back side of the EasyBoard. There it shows every port has a number. This number would correspond to the number we're going to need in the coding. We're going to use an analog read function. With this function, we can read one of the pins. By default, it says pin 0, which is also on the Bjor Easy Board. So we can use this one. And now your code is already done. But how do we get this nice code onto the microbit? Well, first off, we're going to have to connect the microbit to the laptop using the micro USB cable. Once this is done, the microbit will appear on the laptop as a storage device, a USB stick. You don't have to mind the files that are on it right now. What we need to do is make a new file from this code and put it on the microbit. So we're just going to press save. You can name your project. Select a microbit to save your file and then just press save. The LED on the back of the microbit will now light up and blink really fast until your code is actually on the microbit. 
To see what this code does, we're going to attach a sensor to port 0, because that's the pin we're reading. Using the distance sensor, we can change the signal really easily. And you can see the bar graph that the micro bit is plotting using its LEDs. Well, that was cool and all, but it's not going to really help us with the robot. What we want to do is we want to make the robot think on its own, and therefore we're going to use another code. It's going to be really simple, but really effective. Just going to go back to the code, delete the bar graph, and instead of reading sensor data, we're going to just send data to the output parts. We're going to make a simple blink code. We're going to use the digital write function for this. We're going to change the port to P13, because this is the first port that you will see on the Bjor Easy board. We're going to write it to 1. Because this, this function is digital, you can only add 1 or a 0 to this function. So there's not the whole range from 0 to 1023, it's just from 0 to 1. With 1 representing the maximum and 0 representing the minimum. To make a port blink, we're going to need to write it as 1, so make it go all the way to the max, then pause for a moment, and then writing it to 0 again. Make sure you're using the right pin again. The micro bit on the left side of the screen is showing what its ports are doing, so you can see how fast it will blink using this settings. If you place another port at the end, it will actually blink really consistently. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to copy and paste these blocks and I'm going to get the other ports in on it as well. So all the ports that are associated with the Bjor easy board, we're all just going to get those in there. If you don't know, the easiest way to copy and paste is use Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V to do that. You can also use duplicate when you right-click the block. So all the output parts are blinking now. They're all going to go on and off. There's going to be a pause in the middle. We can save this file with a different name. And I'm just going to download it straight to the micro bit. You can also download it to another location on your hard drive to save the file for later. Here I have the program micro bit. And when I attach this one to the brain of this robot, you will see it just starts to work on its own. It doesn't matter what I do with the sensors, it just starts blinking all its ports. So the arm is going back and forth, the head is going super fast and then it stops. Uh, and as soon as I remove the micro bit again, you will see he's a good boy again and he just listens to the inputs. Thanks for watching this video. Now you know how to program your own robot using a micro bit in the Piltron robot set. We're going to make a lot of new videos with new inspiration. So follow us on social media. Bye bye!